You are watching this video because you have been diagnosed with dry eye disease, DED. You are not alone in this diagnosis. Millions of Americans live with dry eye, and it is one of the most common reasons people come to their eye care provider for treatment. Dry eye symptoms range from very mild irritation, scratchy sensations, burning or stinging, and fluctuating vision, to severe pain and discomfort, and even vision loss. You may have struggled with this condition for a long time and visited numerous doctors in your attempt to find relief. You may be frustrated because numerous treatments in the past have not been successful. Fortunately, new approaches and treatment in dry eye disease are providing relief for many more patients than ever before. While there is no cure for dry eye, with prolonged aggressive therapy, most patients can experience significant relief. There are many factors that may contribute to the development of dry eye, such as increased screen time due to the use of computers and smartphones, age, hormonal influences, medication effects, and associated medical conditions. Conditions. For this reason, it is important to undergo a thorough medical evaluation to determine the precise nature of your disease and to pinpoint contributing factors. A normal tear film, the liquid layer that covers your eye, is required to provide protection and nutrients to the surface of the eye. It is also critical in optimizing the optics of the eye to allow for excellent vision. The tear film consists of three layers, a mucin layer, an aqueous layer, and an oily layer. Dry eye can be categorized as aqueous deficient dry eye. This means there's a lack of production of the aqueous or watery component of the tears. It can also be categorized as evaporative, which is caused by a lack of oily component production of the tears. The meibomian glands in the eyelids produce the oily portion of the tears. A lack of production of oil is termed meibomian gland dysfunction or MGD. MGD can lead to atrophy and dropout of the glands. Once the glands are damaged to that degree, they cannot be repaired and there is no chance of recovering gland function and restoring the oily tear layer. Chronic dry eye and MGD cause inflammation within the eyelids and on the surface of the eye. This inflammation can cause irreversible damage if it's not detected and treated appropriately. Therefore, our goals are not only to improve symptoms and quality of vision, but in those who have relatively few symptoms, we also hope to detect dry eye disease at an earlier stage and prevent irreversible damage in the future. Specialized imaging and diagnostic testing can be performed to determine which type of dry eye disease you have. A proper diagnosis allows us to tailor a treatment plan to your specific needs. Obtaining relief from dry eye can involve trying many different types of therapies in a variety of combinations. You may be frustrated because you have tried numerous therapies in the past with little relief. Often, this failure is because you simply did not receive the correct combination of therapies to target your specific disease. Treatment for dry eye can include topical over-the-counter medications, prescription medications, and more advanced treatments. The following treatments may be recommended depending on what is best for you. Over-the-counter medications, artificial tears and lubricants to act as tear replacements, omega-3 fatty acid supplements are also often recommended. Prescription medications, topical anti-inflammatory eye drops, autologous serum tears, topical and oral antibiotics, punctal plugs, tear drains in the eyelid are plugged using non-permanent plugs made of a silicone material to help you hold your tears longer in your eye. This procedure is not recommended for inflammatory dry eye. Punctal cautery. Permanent surgical closure of the tear drains may be recommended when temporary plugs are not working. Procara. An amniotic membrane is a biologic tissue with strong anti-inflammatory and healing properties. It can be placed on the eye during a doctor's appointment like a bandage to heal the surface of the eye. This treatment is used only in severe forms of dry eye that cause corneal defects such as erosions and filamentary keratitis, a condition in which mucus develops on the corneal surface causing pain. Scleral contact lenses. Specialized contact lenses that bathe the surface of the eye in fluid to keep it lubricated and simultaneously correct vision. 
meibomian gland probing and expression. This treatment is required when meibomian glands are obstructed or blocked. The openings to the glands become blocked and can be gently opened using a small probe. The contents of the glands will then be expressed after a warm compress is applied to effectively empty the glands. This treatment is often bundled with the lipoflow treatment for maximum effect. Meibomian gland probing and expression is not covered by insurance. Lipoflow Thermal Pulsation Therapy The goal of this treatment is to improve the health of the meibomian glands, to restore gland function, and increase oil production. It is aimed at resetting glands to prevent the damage that leads to gland loss. The treatment consists of placing an eyepiece underneath the lids that warms and gently massages the lids to empty the glands of unhealthy secretions. Relief from dry eye symptoms usually occurs in four to six weeks. Depending on the severity of the patient's disease, some patients require retreatment to maintain the effect of an initial treatment. This treatment can be repeated every nine to 24 months. Lipoflow thermal pulsation therapy is not covered by insurance. A comprehensive eye exam will be performed to determine the precise nature of your dry eye. This will allow your doctor to prescribe the appropriate therapy based on your specific needs. The following tests may be performed. Dry Eye Speed Questionnaire You will answer a short questionnaire about your symptoms and the severity of your dry eye. This will allow us to give you a severity score. We will track this score over time to help us understand how you feel, how you are doing, and if your treatment is effective. Medical history. A thorough medical history will be conducted, including a comprehensive review of your medications. Visual acuity. This test determines how well you can read letters on a standardized eye chart. This test will include a refraction to determine if you need eyeglasses to achieve your best vision. Tear osmolarity. A small sample of your tears will be taken to determine the concentration of your tears. This test is an indicator of the severity of dry eye and the stability of the tear film. Inflamadry. A small sample of your tears will be taken to detect the presence or absence of inflammation in your tears. Inflammation caused by dry eye has been shown to cause damage to the ocular surface. Schirmer testing. Small paper strips will be placed on your outer lower eyelids to collect your baseline tears and determine the aqueous component of your tears. Lip of you. Digital images of your meibomian glands will allow your doctor to see the structure of the glands and determine if you have meibomian gland dysfunction, MGD. Images of your tear film are taken to allow for measurement of the oily layer of the tears. Video analysis of your blinking pattern is performed to assess the quality of your blink and how it contributes to your tear film. Intraocular pressure. This test helps determine your risk for glaucoma. Slit lamp exam. The doctor examines your eyes under the microscope to evaluate your eyelids, tear film, and the surface of your eye. Vital stains. Special stains are placed on the eye to determine if the surface cells of the eye are damaged because of dry eye. Tear breakup time. The tear film will be evaluated to determine the amount of oil present. This is based on how quickly the tears break up upon blinking. Gentle pressure along the eyelid margin will be used to observe the quality of the meibomian gland secretions. Dilated exam. Dilating drops are placed in the eye so that the doctor can see the structures in the back of the eye. Many of these tests may be repeated over time to evaluate the effectiveness of your treatment regimen so that any needed adjustments can be made. The good news is that many new treatments have become available over the last few years that are improving our ability to help you. Through aggressive treatment and proper education, we are achieving greater success in our patients than ever before. Although your condition cannot be cured, I'm confident that if you follow the regimen as prescribed, you can look forward to significant relief from dry eye. Thank you for your attention to this important educational video. My staff and I look forward to working with you and we are available to answer any questions you might have.